Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. Printing your PowerPoint presentation can often be a challenge. Very often people are disappointed with the output from their printing. Well, I'm going to show you how it is that I would approach printing a PowerPoint presentation and uh, this is an area that I work in actively on a daily basis. So first of all, let's go to the print dialog box. We go file and we'll have a look at the print dialog box as it appears. There we have it there. First of all, it's going to ask us the printer that we are going to print from. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into print drivers with you but uh, you just choose the printer that you normally use for the sake of this presentation. And then what it's going to ask us is to what range do we wish to print? To print all of the slides? What is the number of copies that you want? Do you want them collated? What type of printing do you want? So here this is going to print for us slides in grayscale so we could go that we want to print handouts, note pages, or outline view. Now, they're all different printing options. If we print slides, we will be given, it will just print one slide, one page, which is often not suitable because the, the way a slide is set up, it's not set up for reading, it's too big. And of course the colour we choose, we could choose colour or pure black and white. You will probably choose colour there if you're printing handouts. So if you choose handouts, this box appears to the right and it asks us how many slides per page. We can choose six, two, one, three. And if you choose three, which is a very common option, it allows the people listening to your presentation to do something to scribble on the page as you're giving it to them because it's going to allow them for notes to the right. Okay, well that's the basics and then of course we have a box down here that gives us the frames slide if you want to frame around the slide and then there's a preview of what it's going to look like. So this is what our slides are going to look like if we print them. Okay, I'll close that preview. Now I want to tell you a few things about printing that you may not be aware of. I'll pull our dialog box back up. It's this. Perhaps I should uh, close it and show you on the screen. These are background images that are in PowerPoint. The, this uh, whole page here is a background image apart from our little icon here. And of course as you go through to each page in this PowerPoint presentation, all of this blue that you see is a background image that will not print. That is in the background and PowerPoint very cleverly removes that so that uh, when it's presented that will be removed. Now that may not be an option that you want. You might want to preserve that on what you hand out. If you wish to do that then what you need to do is convert your PowerPoint slide to a PDF and then print it from a PDF. Now that's what I most often do with PowerPoint presentations. Depending on the background, some of the backgrounds are quite frankly hideous, others are quite nice, and uh, if the person requesting that printing wants the background preserved, I will always convert to a PDF and then print from PDF. Another option that I want to tell you about that I use regularly to enhance printing is that you see here we're going to go to slides or handouts, three to a page, um, I'll just show you about this option first, is generally with most printers there will be an option given to you to print more <clears throat> than one page on a sheet. So if you go to our basic tab here, now depending on the printer you have, we're in the property side of the print dialog now, um, it's going to be different for every printer. So you're not going to be able to look at this slide that you're seeing here and go to your printer and it'd be exactly the same. But what you want to look for is where you can print two in one. So that's going to print two pages or two slides on the one page. 
and then we would go OK. Or four in one. Now, why would we choose these options when printing? Well, I'll tell you why. Is that when PowerPoint prints, and I'll give you a, the handout view, we'll go handouts and we'll go um, two in one, and then we'll go preview. It's going to print with all of this white space around it. You see that there? Well, that's a, sort of a waste, and a lot of people don't like that. But if you choose the option that I just showed you, what is going to happen is that this whole slide here will fill half the page. And this slide here will fill half the page. It looks a lot, lot better if you're giving it as a handout, and particularly if you're using it as something that you wish for people to keep as a reference to read. Now, just a couple of things I didn't cover for you with printing, I want to quickly go over. With printing of handouts, we've looked at that. Printing of note pages, what does this do? Well, printing note pages will print one slide at the top, and then underneath that slide, it will give the notes. So here's the slide, and if you have any notes, those notes will appear down here underneath it. So that's what printing notes will do for you. We'll go to our last one, which is printing outline view. And here it is, the outline view. Remember, I showed you in one of our earlier tutorials about working an outline. It shows a miniature of your slides, and then the key points that appear on the slides are here to the right. Very rarely have I used that. So think carefully about your printing options. Printing PowerPoint requires some thought. You need to talk to the person who has requested the printing and to, to try and find out what effect they want to give. If you wish to preserve these images in the background or the background colors, then um, you would need to convert to PDF. If you insert <coughs> the image on the page rather than on the background, then it will print. This is Trev for AOTraining.net. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening.